As I've worked with tons of people that have had concussions, traumatic brain injury, what I've found over and over and over again is that they're not actually addressing the underlying mechanism of a concussion. So most importantly, I'm gonna explain to you what that is because most people don't know. They get these recommendations to just go lay in a dark room and thinking that's gonna solve their problems. And in all actuality, that's not a solution at all. So I'm gonna explain to you what actually happens in concussion and protocols to do for it. Number one, so when, when our brain gets injured, what happens is a cell uh, starts to gets inflamed and starts running out of energy. And the reason why that happens is because our mitochondria get affected. And when our mitochondria get affected, we can't produce ATP efficiently. So then what happens in the cell is we can't influx and exflux sodium and potassium appropriately. So then the cell starts to swell, then it bursts. That's called apoptosis. Then our immune system gets involved, starts coming in and trying to clean that up. That's one very important mechanism. Secondly, is we get what's called neurovascular uncoupling. So we actually can't get enough blood flow to the brain for it to heal efficiently in a lot of cases. So these are two really, really, really important things because unless you stop that process of apoptosis or you restore actual blood flow to the brain, now that can't heal efficiently. I know this has probably never even been introduced to you and it's the underlying mechanism of what's going on and this apoptosis is happening over and over and over again because what happens is when that breaks open we get 